Yeah, a lot of this uh, kind of vamping in the back seat um, between the Prius passengers was, I, I think it was largely improvised. I, I don't remember writing a lot of that stuff. No, a lot of the little one-liners like, uh, you know, uh, Wolf Mother or Mother Earth or any of those things were definitely improvised by Elizabeth and Lance. Really, really funny. Uh, and so, you know, I wanted to pepper, yeah, nature. <laughs> I wanted to pe- pepper in um, improvised lines because I think that really helps scenes feel unwritten. And I guess that's the point. But it, it's it's nice to be able to include those and allow the collaboration to occur. And I, uh, as a director and as a writer, making films, not plays, uh, it's it's nice to be able to work and get other people's ideas. I have to say, this is one of the one of the best looking casts. Of any of the episodes, I think. I, yeah, damn right. And one of the most talented. And very into uh, vehicle safety. You can yeah. see that everybody's belted up on this. I thought Elizabeth was really funny. She was really game to do just about anything for the character. She came in those feather earrings of, of her own accord. And I, I love how she got the character quite a bit. She had so much fun with the, with the, uh, with the role. And... I just want to take it, give another shout out again to Danny and Ned. <laughs> they make me laugh every time. I think Danny is just an incredible actor. He can do anything, and he's he can go from genuine to sarcastic to funny. Yeah, in this moment here, when he's talking about him breaking up with his girlfriend, it was a nice genuine moment, and, and that's one of the things that I wanted to try to to capture in Milkshake was feel genuine ups and downs, uh, ebbs and flows of feelings, from going from fear to humor to sarcasm to actually having to um, come to a sort of a, a catharsis and admit his faults, admit the character's faults. And it, it's something that we don't see a lot of in webisodes, not criticizing anybody in particular, but it's a lot of often non sequitur humor. And I wanted to try to, I wanted to try to get at something a little, a little bit bigger, a little bit harder so that we get characters who actually have a turn. It's just something very hard to achieve in a webisode. Well, I definitely think that it's important, you know, in short form, three minute, four minute, even five minute videos, you can do just nothing but silly and zany act antics. But once you ask a, a viewer to invest as much time as they are for even just one of these episodes, you know, they're seven, ten minutes long. People, whether they admit it or not, they want that turn. You know, they need to see that little turn where they're surprised. Well, otherwise, go, what's oh, the point? Oh, I felt something, you know, you know, I could laugh at this and then laugh at a gif of a dog walking on ice. You know, it's all the same. But the thing that you get from this slightly longer form is that you can dig into the characters and really end up saying, oh, wow. Yeah. You know, those guys are silly. Those guys are funny. But this is ultimately the story of a guy in a breakup. And how does he deal with that when his one friend is 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 he legally insane? Like if he committed a crime, <laughs> if he were, if Drake were to be arrested, he probably would not be fit to stand trial. Yeah, he could plea out of it. So yeah, exactly. you know, that's that's a rough struggle for for poor uh, poor Danny here to have to go through, and we're inviting our audience to come along with us on that journey. Well, I I, I think that also when you're making comedy, and this is just my own opinion, because. Um, Obviously, other people are going to have diff- feel differently about this, but I-, I believe that in order to have comedy that means anything or that actually has some punch to it, you need to have real moments of um, of feels, as it were, where, where, where one character is, is feeling the exact antithesis of how, say, the comic relief is 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 feeling. Cause it's you only get comic relief when you have the ability to juxtapose it against something that is genuine. So. Lance here and admitting to the, these total strangers, which often happens. You sit down, for whatever reason, you might get into, into a conversation with somebody you don't really know, and you feel comfortable telling them what's wrong with you. And Lance here, in this case, does it to our Prius uh, passengers and drivers. And that, that allows the, the humor to, to, to shine through with, with Drake and with the rest of them. Yeah, the journey that he takes is, you know, ultimately, at, if at the start of the episode he had been able to say to his one friend, his one close friend, hey, I'm in a pretty bad place over this breakup right now. Let's take it easy tonight. If he had been able to say that, if he had been able to admit it up front, he could have avoided all of this, but he couldn't, and it was only by going through that journey. I think it's called an arch. Uh, no, I think it's called a causeway, actually. There it is, yeah. 
Yeah, a river. River of feels.